Okay, here's my first video. Um, I'm calling it Discovering Autism because uh, that's what I was thinking as I was walking uh, about ha almost done with the day and uh, I was thinking, you know, it's just they're discovering all these people and discovering all this stuff about autism. And so I just said I called it. That may be my permanent title. I don't know. But this is the fairgrounds at uh, Delaware, uh, where my little town here is, and it's a county fair. And uh, this is like the Wednesday or the Thursday before the fair. And this was a Saturday that I actually shot the rest of the video. Um, it's about 2 a.m. <laughs> right now. Uh, and I have been working on this literally all day and all evening and now another morning. And I've had to do it a few times. That's the ticket booth there on the left, right. Um, and that's where I'll be interviewing this first lady. I just happened to, when I was buying a ticket, say something to her about, hey, I'm on, you know, or... Uh, I have a little sign um, that I have on my bag here. It's called, Let's Talk Autism. Um, has it touched your life? And that's kind of the theme I approach people with. This has, has, has autism at all, you know, do you have, do you know anyone autistic? Or, and um, we started talking probably for this, this lady here. We started talking maybe for, I don't know, three, four minutes. There were kids come or people coming up for tickets. So we had to stop a few times and the audio was terrible. And plus, you see that, that uh, space to the left that's actually through the door and the side of that ticket booth. It, the camera focused on that. So she was like half out of focus up until this point. So I kept this part of the clip just to show her. And that's my hand there. You know, you're talking to the hand. And, um, uh, but uh, it was what sort of funny was she, uh, when I first told her I was on the spectrum, she said, oh, well, you don't look at it. I was just like, oh my gosh, here it is, you know. Okay, um, this is a, a place the, the high school runs every year. Uh, it's a building where they serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and um, they have killer hamburgers. Um, also killer prices now, but uh, that money is for a good cause. It goes back to this high school. And, so they're actually earning money for the school. And I think they earn a lot of money. And there's food everywhere. Um, this uh, after this, this next lady I'm going to be talking with uh, again. Oh, there's yeah, kids have been getting. Uh, that was really winging around there. I mean, I'm surprised those kids are just alive. Um, I think this lady saw the little tag I had on my camera bag. It said, um, you know, let's talk about autism. And she said, yeah, my, uh, you know, and she started in and talking about somebody she knew. And uh, it was like either a relative or friend or something that had an autistic child or worked with people who were autistic. And uh, so we had a nice chat there about that. And um, nothing earth, earth shattering. Uh, a couple of the interviews uh, were pretty cool. Um, one in particular was a woman who had a child uh, that was uh, eight years old. Um, this is going to be uh, the interview coming up here, and uh, she, I'm going to let this woman sort of speak for herself here. And that's not the woman right there. That's an alpaca. What's up? Okay, all right. So, if, um, tell me then, how autism has touched your life? Autism, I, I work with a lot of students that have autism. And some of the greatest things to me have been um, Working with preschoolers, they come to me at age three. And I have had kids come to me that are have autism and that are so sensory overload that all they can do is scream. They come in my doors, the doors shut. I actually have teachers come down the hallway, look in my windows, and say, are you okay? Because there was so much screaming. And to watch those kids learn how to deal with their environment and learn how to um, integrate all of those sensory things and watch them graduate and they're, one of them just joined a acceptance into his acapella choir group and it, it's just absolutely amazing. You, you hear autism and you think it's, it's so severe and they don't realize that it can go all the way to the other end. I, and you know, I just know so many, some of the kids I've talked about, I mean, they're so brilliant. Uh -huh. And the autism, you know, doesn't hold them back. And it just, it just changes how they view the world a little bit or how they can deal with the world a little bit. But it doesn't 
it doesn't negate the beauty that they have as an individual. Yeah. Um, what, what, just repeat what you were saying about you think the culture's changed. I, I think the culture is changing. That you know that the the perception of people with autism, you know, it used to be just one thing, um, and that people are realizing that it's that it's it's changing, and that people are I think are ready now to accept that autism label, and accept the people who have autism. Um, I think the culture is getting ready for that. That's fantastic. And what did you what did you do again? And this... I was a special needs preschool teacher. Okay. Yeah. So I taught children from ages three up to when they um, get left for kindergarten. Wow, fantastic. And and just what's your first name? Michelle. Michelle. I'm Tom. And it thank you so nice much. To meet you. Nice to meet you too. And um, this is just uh, some of the scenes. Of course, that's a huge. Of course, um, well, it's, it's, it's a rural area. I mean, you'll see all kinds of animals. Um, there's a little animal on top of the big animal. Yeah. But, uh, this next is a scene is... When he was three. I'm sorry? When he was three. When he was three. That's good. Is it interesting? It's nice to meet the adults. You know, I'm surrounded by children that are on the spectrum. And yeah. some, you know... Okay, adult 5.3, lead line. No sign, take number. She doesn't see people who are older. And I'm Do you have a name? And, uh, that's a, sorry. Sure. <laughs> but anyway, she uh, uh, have, have she you, was uh, she was actually in been tears. Yet or she was like, I, I'm okay, so happy doing that to today? see. It's almost like okay. she was like, well, there's hope. People that are autistic actually have lives, and uh, I it, you don't think about that, but parents. Uh, don't see older autistic people. Um, it was a pretty interview that with her. That was that kind of touched me too. It was really made me feel like what I'm getting out there and doing is more than just uh, you know. Anyway, this is just funny here. I know. Yeah, yeah. It is. Anyway, it was a very successful uh, first attempt, and I hope we'll get better at the video and everything and the sound, and um, I'm glad you uh, shared this with me, and uh, I'll get this rendered and up on YouTube. So everyone, thank you again, and I look forward to making more videos.